Here I am again talking about tow hooks. This is just a little follow-up video that I wanted to show you uh, about the tow hooks. A reminder, there's a tow hook door in the front of the car and there's another tow hook door in the rear of the car. And you need one of these little plastic tools to get it out that makes it really, really easy. They cost a couple of bucks. Go just, here's a whole set of them over here. They usually come in a package. And if you don't use it for this, you can always use it trying to get into the front. If you want to check uh, your battery or anything like that or get to your battery, you're going to have to need one of these to pop that up. This really, really makes it easy. Okay? So let's talk about my tow hooks. <laughs> this is going on and on and on. This is the first tow hook that I bought right here. Let me put this up here. This is the first tow hook I bought. And I don't know if you can see too well. Um, let me put a ruler down here. Give you an idea of how big this uh, is and how wide this is. Problem with this one, this is the first one I bought and it didn't fit. No good. Okay. Second one, I figured I'd do my due diligence and I get one that's the right size and I got one that's, that's the right size and uh but there's something wrong with this and if you go this is what you have to be careful of if you go and read if i bought all these on no i bought i'm sorry i bought this one on uh amazon i bought this one on ebay most of the good deals on these tow hooks are on ebay it's higher priced this one was higher priced it was on uh, Amazon. So what you have to be careful of, you got to read, you see the front, oh it fits the C8, this one does fit the C8. But guess what, if you read way down in the bottom of the uh, description, you got to go down a couple of pages to the very end, it's going to say, oh for uh, display only, and you shouldn't be using it to tow, to tow your car. So this one's going back to Amazon. This is useless. Absolutely, you, you don't want to put this on your car. This one doesn't fit, so you can't put it on your car. Does not fit. But this one does fit, but it's going to break. It's not going to work. So it seems, it looks nice. You know, if you like to put this on your car and go around and pretend that you're a race car driver, you can have this hanging out the front, but just don't use it. Well, why would you sell something like this uh, for 30 some dollars and uh, the damn thing uh, is can't do what it's supposed to do So they're out there. So be careful boys and girls They want to sell you junk. So now I've made my uh, third order And this is a real tow hook and I'm gonna show you that when I when it arrives Before we can get going here uh, we have to open this little section here to put the tow hook in here. Then I'm going to show you the new tow hook. Alright, let me take this little piece here and uh, this will help me open it up. And this is how this whole piece, it's kind of rectangular and it hangs down like this. You can see how it hangs down. And the tow hook is going to go right in there. And the other thing I noticed while I was over here, you know what says Corvette up here? Look it up. I don't know if you can see that. It, uh, let me turn the camera around here, see if you can see it. It says Corvette right here. I think I might paint that. Paint it white or the color of the car and paint the Corvette right there. I don't think anybody's done that yet. I might be the first one to do it. I miss somebody must have done it. But you could paint that, I think. In fact, I know you can. All right, now let's take a look at the new tow hook. And there it is in the box. <laughs> this is the third one, remember? And this is the final one. And I'll show you this. Um, take it out of the box here. This is it. This looks pretty substantial, doesn't it? Look at that. And it's heavy. And it's got a long thread. And it will work both in the front and the rear of the car. So you could put it either in the front or the rear. 
I don't see any reason why you'd use both the front and rear. You don't need two of these. So let's go over, give the supreme test. We'll go over here to my uh, front of my car and we'll take the, let me put the light over here so you can see it. Here. So you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And I just put this right in here. And you can feel it when you go in there. Okay, I had to take a look and see exactly where the hole is, but you can find it easy enough once you uh, look inside it. It goes kind of at an angle uh, in, and you can tighten it up, which is what I'm doing now. And then when you're ready to pull, this is solid. And uh, I would say I wouldn't have to do it too many turns, but now you're ready. That's in. That's going to work. So finally, after three tries, <laughs> after three tries, we finally got the right one. So there you go. That's, uh, that's the deal. And uh, we had a lot of work trying to get this thing uh, uh, done right. And uh, I think we got it right now. I'll put on a de in the description below uh, a couple of links to the tow hooks. But I want to say be very, very careful because you can buy the wrong, t wrong tow hook very, very easily. It's very easy to buy the wrong tow hook. So uh, I finally got the right one and uh, this is going, I'm going to take this out and it's going in my frunk and it's going to stay there in the frunk. Uh, and hopefully I'll never have to use it, but if I have to use it, I got it. It's going to be ready and it will go on the rear too. So, uh, there you go. That's the update on the, this is the one you want to get. This was like $45. I think you can make a bid on it. I think it was 48 or 49 and I bid 45 and he accepted it. Toe hit, toe hook. You should have one in your front just in case you never know. Last week I ran into a little health issue, and ran in is probably a pretty good um, explanation of it. Um, a week ago today I was in one of the uh, recreation centers, and I was walking out waving to a couple of ladies on the desk that I know. So I was giving them a big wave, you know, hey, how you doing, Allison? And I was turned at an angle, and I tripped, and I fell, and I hit this side of my face, this side of my face slammed on the floor. It looked like somebody threw me on the floor. It was really crazy. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've got, uh, I've got some pretty good uh, uh, coloring uh, on the left side of my face. I took a real, real shot to the side of my face and it's still, all, still swollen up here on the top. Uh, everything else has pretty much gone down. Uh, but here, here's a shot, here's a shot of, of me uh, day one. And uh, what a hell of a mess I was. Uh, my, my, it looked like somebody stuck a golf ball under my eyelid. I mean, it was all puffed out and it really, it really looked like hell. But I'm back, I was gonna do this um, video last week. And I, of course I never got to it because I had been uh, taking care and icing down my face for several days. So we're back and we're healing up and everything's fine. I have no broken bones. I did a CAT scan and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the, the health care down here in the villages where I live uh, is very, very good. And uh, the care I got was tremendous. Uh, so I'm very happy for that. And I'm very happy for the fact that none of my, uh, around my side of my eye was broken. I'm glad that my glass didn't break and smash into my eye. There's a lot of bad things that could have happened. But they didn't, so the big guy spared me again. So thank you very much, Mr. Big Guy. I appreciate it. <laughs> so we're back, and uh, we got some more videos planned too. So hang in there. 
Talk to you later. See you in a little bit.